going on? Very frustrated. It's very scary. A Valley woman is mad after she says the dog who killed her Pomeranian Chanel was returned to its owner. This is she's left to mourn and worry that her other dog could be next. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live near Hacienda and Lindell with what makes it difficult to take the dog away and what comes next. Brian. Yeah, the woman says it seems like that dog came out of nowhere. Apparently getting through a side gate like that from the house as she was walking her two dogs. And while she wasn't able to bring her beloved dog home tonight, she's upset that the dog that attacked is back at home instead of being in the pound. He can tell something. He saw everything. Yeah. He saw her dying also. Lynn Megan is holding Coco tight after his sister was killed when Megan says a pit bull attacked them during their walk this afternoon. I couldn't save her. I, I choked him until he lived. He yeah, left, no. left her. During the attack, Megan says she was able to get Coco off the leash so he wasn't hurt. She ended up injuring her hand while trying to get Chanel free and then rushed her to the vet. As soon as we step in, she couldn't make it. When she got home, Megan says she called animal control, but says the pit bull was allowed to stay with the owner, even after she says animal control told her there had been issues with the dog in the past. Animal control confirmed they are investigating the attack, but said they can't comment on an open case. They did say in cases of animal biting people, dogs are quarantined, but when dogs bite another animal, there is no immediate way for officers to take the dog away. That has Megan worried about Coco. I'm scared to take him out. I don't know what's going to happen. When it comes to cases like this, animal control says punishments can range from a ticket for the owner all the way to the dog being put down if it's declared vicious. Megan says she expects to hear from animal control on Monday. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Thanks, Brian.